Joining me now, Guy Benson, Fox News contributor and political editor for Town Hall. Dot com. So it's obvious, Guy, uh, that Chris Christie, you know, he has to do well in New Hampshire. He's pretty much put all his eggs in the basket for that particular state. So he's got to go after Marco Rubio, especially with these new poll numbers coming out that we're going to share in just a little bit. That's right, and we've seen some criticisms from Christie against Rubio. He was calling Rubio bubble boy this yep. week, which I think is an interesting Seinfeld reference maybe. Uh, and the long knives are out for Rubio across the spectrum here because I think Trump and Cruz see Rubio obviously as a surging threat coming out of Iowa. And as you mentioned, guys like Christie, John Kasich, Jeb Bush, they really have to make a splash in New Hampshire or risk their campaigns, frankly, ending in that state. And so I think when we see the debate on Saturday night on ABC News, there's going to be a target on Rubio's back. He's earned the target. The question is, is he ready? Okay. The other sort of label that he's been given, and I think it's fascinating because maybe in any other race he wouldn't be given this label, but he's been called a moderate. Where do you see that going? Well, I, I think it's ironic because Rubio's making a closing argument to voters that he is uniquely positioned to unify the Republican Party and expand the appeal of the conservative message and beat the Democrats. So while he's making that argument to voters and to donors, by the way, you've got the establishment lane of the party attacking him on some issues of being too conservative. And then you've got others questioning his conservative credentials saying, oh, he's actually the new darling of the establishment. On that front, Gretchen, he got a much-needed vote of confidence this week. Rush Limbaugh, on his number one rated radio program, just went out there and said, look, I don't like this idea that people are calling Rubio establishment. He is a full-throated, legitimate Reagan conservative. That is a very welcome soundbite for the Rubio campaign. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I guess where that moderate thing comes from is the gain of eight and his original stance on immigration. And, of course, he's yes. been caught in that in debates as far as possibly being a flip-flop. Yeah, I think that the strongest lines and cleanest lines of attack against Rubio have always been two things. One, the Gang of Eight, which goes to a bad policy that he not only endorsed but championed, but also his judgment in teaming up with someone like Chuck Schumer to put forward that bill. And then also the inexperience card, which is what Christie and others have been trying to play, mm. coming from a perspective of a governor, saying this is a guy in Marco Rubio who's been a legislator his entire career. Does he have what it takes to be a chief executive, which is a very different type of job, bringing the Obama example into the equation. Those are the two things I think that Rubio's vulnerable on, and that's why, surprise, surprise, he's getting hit on both. All right. Uh, we'll see if Bubble Boy comes up again on <laughs> Saturday night, or if it's something else. Temper, temper tantrum. What was that? Trumper tantrum. Trumper tantrum. Trumper yeah. tantrum. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Lots of terms to have to learn. Guy, thank you.